Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.5 number 17 and we were asked to simplify or I should say expand this logarithmic expression. So there's a couple of ways you can do this but the first thing it requires is us thinking about the square root of something and this this something in particular is x cubed y to the negative fourth and, and taking that and rewriting it with a rational exponent. So we talked about rational exponents way back in chapter two, but basically it works with whatever the index is here, right? In this case, it's a square root, so that would be a two. Whatever that index is, that becomes your denominator here. And then I have in parentheses y cubed, excuse me, x cubed, y to the negative four. Now you have a few options here. Some of you might wanna say, well, I know this is x cubed over y to the fourth and make it a fraction that way. Um, it's up to you. I, I'm not actually gonna opt for that, but, but you could do that. Um, and if you made it a fraction, because you have inside these parentheses, because you have division, right? Or, or you could look inside these parentheses. If you ever have in your parentheses multiplication or division, you can actually distribute this exponent. It's when you have addition and subtraction that you can't distribute it. So I could say this is x cubed to the one half, and this could be y to the fourth raised to the one half. And then when you have powers raised to powers, you would multiply those exponents. So you could actually go as far, if you wanted to, to say this is x to the three halves over y squared. All right, so that's just me manipulating that side. But really what I wanna stick to is this part, because you're gonna see me drop that here for if I use method, I guess, method two, or over here for method one. So, so let me explain how I'm gonna do method one first, and then we'll go through method two. And both of these uh, methods, I, in, or I should say, in neither of these methods do I do this division thing over here. I just, I keep the negative exponent. So again, lots of ways to do this. So if we call this, we'll call this method one, right? And let me compare and contrast this. This would be method two. And they're both, they're both great. You, you pick which one makes most sense in your brain. Here, again, because in these parentheses I only have multiplication, I decided to distribute this one half to the x cubed term and to the negative four term. And when you have powers raised to powers, you multiply the exponent. So three times one half, sure enough, is three halves. And if I look at negative four times one half, sure enough, that is negative two. So that's where that's coming from. And then if you look inside, let me erase my little purple dots. If you look inside this set of parentheses, and I'll, I'll write over it, that set of parentheses, I have a product. And the product rule says I can split that logarithm, or I should say I can split that argument into the sum of two logarithms. So you see me using that there. And then we have the power rule, which says, if your argument is a power, you can take that exponent and move it down in front. And that's what I'm doing in both of those. So that's how I arrive at, ooh, that made a straight line and then a bubble. I don't know what that was. Oh, where's my bubble? Okay, anyways, looks like I got rid of a bubble. Um, so uh, that's where I arrive at three halves log x. And then let's see if I can make another straight line. Ooh, kind of did it. Um, minus two log y. And so that's just one way to do it. Over on method two over here, what I opted to do is I actually just took this exponent here and I moved it down in front immediately. So this is just another option. So that's why you see the one half here. Now inside this argument, you see a product. So I went and I ha ahead and I used the product rule, right? I, I turned that into two logarithms with addition, keeping in mind that I had that coefficient of one half out there. Now for each of these logarithms, I took their respective exponents and I moved them down in front. And that's why you see a three log x minus four log y, but I still have this one half out here. So I wanna distribute it and one half times three is three halves and then one half times negative four, sure enough is negative two log y. So either way, you're arriving at that same answer that we arrived at over here. All right, so that's ultimately my answer for number 17. All right, thanks so much. Bye.